You know, it's not a good thing to hurt a child of God. Paul the Apostle reminds his readers of this in Romans chapter 12, verse 19, when he says, Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. You know, this is the motivation in turning the other cheek and not returning evil for evil. It's not that there will be no justice for personal offenses. It's that God wants to be the one who administers it in his own time and in his own way. When we are patient and wait for his justice to prevail, several things happen. First of all, his purpose for us is accomplished. God fulfills certain spiritual goals in our lives through suffering. Patiently enduring offenses and injustice helps create meekness and hope and greater trust in the Lord. Secondly, his purpose for our enemy is served. Paul was persecuted by both the Jewish and Roman leaders for his Christian faith, but he patiently bore it. God waited many decades to punish the Jews and centuries to bring down the Roman Empire so that their sins and disbelief would be complete. You know, sometimes taking justice into our own hands interferes with God's long-term plans for our enemies. And then finally, his purpose for our witness is fulfilled. From start to finish, God's word promises protection and justice for his children. Seeking our own vengeance tells the world that we don't really trust God when it really, really counts. If God says he'll do it, waiting for him to act is the strongest message of faith and courage that we can send to our enemies. Remember, God's justice often seems slow, but never doubt that it will come.